Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, something strawberry this way comes. Tart Strawberry M43 is a 6.8% New England style IPA from Old Nation Brewing in Williamston, Michigan. This is the hottest ticket in Michigan beer right now, a mythical figure like the White Buffalo, the Soul Infinity Stone, I don't know, whatever. All I know is that I had to rush my ass off to buy the last one of these 30 minutes after it got posted on Facebook. I went there, the guy at the store said it sold out within the hour of him posting it. So anyhow, I'm just happy that I got to bring one of these to you. As all of you Michigan beer fans know, this is the talk of the town. The celebrity of the last few Michigan beer fests has been Tart Strawberry M43. So instead of talking about this anymore, let's just take a look at the label and we'll get down to it. So this is really the same label as regular M43. It's kind of the off-white uh, with a black label. It says um, New Orthodox India Pale Ale Series M43. Uh, New England style India Pale Ale, 6.8% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs. The difference between this one is that it has the strawberry in the center here, and on the very side it says tart strawberry. So again, the malt is uh, pills, wheat, and oat. The boil hops are Calypso, Amarillo, and Citra, dry hop, Citra, Amarillo, and Simcoe. Again, keep cold and drink fresh. Haze is good is what it says on the can. And the big difference that they just started adding recently on these cans is this, uh, this little instructional diagram here. It says, don't freak out, sediment, and what you can do about it. So it tells you basically that, that there's some sediment in the bottom of the can. It's okay that you need to roll the can for an even sediment distribution or pour but leave some behind either way it's fine and enjoy it so i am going to do the roll i didn't do, i didn't roll my m43 i didn't roll my uh boxer which is now called cart horse i didn't roll my greenstone i didn't roll my any of you know my boss tweed and by the way i do have a cart horse uh, video coming up soon it'll probably be in a week or two just to give you an uh m4 or i'm sorry an old nation break but i rolled my can and i am going to use my Beautiful Trillium Rastal glass that I got while I was in Boston. And it's very got a nice ring to it when you when you set it down. So let's crack this baby open. Hopefully this one doesn't blow up. Immediately open it and I can smell the citrus, the M43, the familiar M43 scent that you get. If you've had M43, um, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't had M43 and you're watching this channel, go out and just buy it immediately, okay? It's everywhere. So it has that familiar kind of scent. It has that hoppy kind of um, citrusy scent. Kind of get some pineapple notes in there. And there is a touch of strawberry, not a whole lot. But let's go ahead and pour this. We'll see with how the color is different. Very, very, very hazy coming out of the can here. I'm going to start to get a little, little more aggressive on that. Doesn't quite fill up the glass, but that's okay. It gives us a nice wide opening to smell from. So yeah, I get a little bit of that dankness. I am getting strawberry right up front on this. Uh, I didn't expect to get that much strawberry. I thought it would be kind of like just a subtle deal. It smells a little dank, a little sweaty. It's got, it's got a little bit of that tropical fruit kind of scent to it. And by the way, I will leave uh, a link to my original M43 video in the description below this one uh and you'll notice i had the the baby beard back then but but uh that'll be in there so but yeah let's let's just look at that for a second that is super hazy no light is coming through that at all it's hazy as it ever was and uh yeah so i'm getting a lot of the tropical fruit a bit of a citrus a bit of a pineapple but it's all kind of tinged with that strawberry taste so i'm gonna go ahead and dive in cheers So the mouthfeel is very thick, as you would expect from M43. Like thick, like juice, like an orange juice. You get a lot of that orangey quality, a lot of the pineapple, a little bit of smooth, super, super smooth bitterness. 
And it's all, I mean, it's not very hoppy bitter. It's kind of like a citrusy bitterness, but it's all kind of tinged with this really light strawberry kind of taste. It's like, what I'm picking up on is when you use, I don't know how many of you guys out there use this. I, you know, I've just heard when you use like a lip balm, like a strawberry lip balm, uh, or a cherry lip balm and uh, you get that kind of like faint cherry taste. I'm kind of getting like a faint strawberry taste and just tinged with everything. Just like the scent is just kind of tinged. It's really very subtle, that strawberry scent. And the strawberry taste is again, very subtle to me. I'm not really quite sure why it's called tart strawberry. I'm, I'm getting maybe a little bit of tartness I guess I'm getting tartness on the aftertaste. But again, it's like, I guess on the aftertaste, actually the strawberry and the tartness come in. The tartness is mixed with that hoppy bitterness, with the citrusy hoppy bitterness, a little bit of an earthy hoppiness as well, but not much. It's mostly citrus. And that, I guess that strawberry really kind of kicks in on the tail end, on the aftertaste. Let's give it one more taste. I mean, you know, might as well. If you're a fan of M43, um, obviously this one's going to be really similar to that. It's going to have, um, it has a little bit of that cherry, that, I'm sorry, strawberry kind of tartness on the back end. It does have a little bit of that tartness. I misspoke earlier kind of analyzing a little bit more, there is a little bit of tartness that comes through. But if you're an M43 fan and you can find this, it's gonna be really hard to find, but I think it's it's rewarding. I think they may still have it at their tap room in Williamston, but finding more cans of this is gonna be really hard to find. I mean, it, at least it was distributed a little bit. You might have a better chance at like a bigger grocery store, like a Meyer. Meyer, I've heard, gets a little bit more of a shipment than the smaller local places. I think Meyer was actually selling it in a four pack. I got mine as a single. I raced all the way across another direction of town and got one more single. So I was lucky, I feel really lucky that I was able to get two in the same day. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick up any more. I don't know if this is gonna be a more common uh, variant from, from Old Nation. I'd love to see it be available more places like M43 has blown up. It's available almost everywhere that you can buy craft beer. I would love to see tart uh, strawberry M43 be the same, maybe be a regular thing. Maybe they can, I mean, cart horses all over the place right now. Boss Tweed's becoming really widely distributed. I don't think it's nearly as difficult as it was to get before. So hopefully this isn't just a one and done that they'll do uh, more distribution of tart strawberry, just so everybody gets a chance to try it. If you go to the Michigan Beer Fest, I'm sure it'll be available there. They'll have some other kind of fruit variant, but it's really good. It's really very similar to M43. If you like M43 and you like strawberries, you're going to like this. I mean, it's there, there's not really much more to say about it than that. It does have that strawberry taste. It's a bit of a tart strawberry taste, but again, if you like M43, you're going to love tart strawberry M43. Um, you know, a lot of, I've been reading a little bit about this and people are saying, oh, it's overhyped, it's overhyped. There's always going to be people that feel like, because they're hearing about it more often than anything else, that it's overhyped. Um, if you love, again, if you love M43, you're, you're more than likely going to love uh, Tart Strawberry M43 as well. All right, friends, that is Tart Strawberry M43, the beer, the myth, the legend. Have you been able to slay a dragon and bring the Eye of Newt to your local bottle shop to score a single of these? Did you bring fire from the heavens to get a sample sip of this golden nectar? Uh, whatever the case, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome Michigan content. Michigan beer content that you're not gonna wanna miss. While you're down there, you can also find some links to my social media, some Adapt merch, and a link to my blog at GiraffeTherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Giraffe Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Giraffe Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.